Good evening. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernator evening headlines on March 31, 2022. Facebook fails to label 80% of posts promoting bioweapons conspiracy theory. Volodymyr Zelensky asks Australia to send armored vehicles to help fight Russia. Why is Vladimir Putin demanding Russian gas is paid for in rubles? The Guardian, Russia's ruble rebound raises questions of sanctions impact. The Independent, Putin's plan to prop up the ruble is working. For now, CNN, Russian ruble recovering from sanctions. Congressman Madison Cawthorn under fire over claims of DC drugs and orgies. The Guardian, Roger Stone says Madison Cawthorn has not retracted his cocaine and orgies claims despite McCarthy's statement. Boris Johnson News, live, Tories taking more than they give, amid cost of living crisis, Starmer says. Cheng Lei, Australian journalist tried behind closed doors in China on spy charge as ambassador denied entry. Sky News, Cheng Lei, Australian journalist on trial in China for spy charge. BBC, Cheng Lei, Chinese-born Australian journalist put on closed-door trial for spying. The Independent, Cheng Lei, Australia accuses China of prosecuting journalist in secret. The Times, Chinese trial of detained Australia journalist defers verdict. The people who keep the refugee trains running out of Ukraine, photo essay. The Guardian, risking the dangers of war, some Ukrainian refugees head home. Politico Europe, mothers and young children queue to return to Ukraine at Polish train station. The Independent, a Ukrainian mother's aching soul propels her home, a father seeks a new life abroad. Ukraine war, India shouldn't be sitting on the fence over Russia's invasion says Trade Secretary. Sky News, Liz Truss's India visit made awkward by presence of Russian counterpart. The Guardian, UK, Russia foreign ministers visit India amid Ukraine crisis. The Independent, Foreign Secretary in India as part of diplomatic push on Ukraine. Gov, UK, US, criticizes India on Russia talks as Lavrov visits Delhi. Ukraine war, Ukraine sends buses to Mariupol for rescue effort. BBC, Ukraine says Mariupol still under attack despite Russian ceasefire pledge. Financial Times, live updates, Russia, Ukraine help civilians flee Mariupol. The Independent, Russia shells marked Red Cross Hospital in Mariupol. The Telegraph, Ukraine morning briefing, Russia announces Mariupol ceasefire as Zelensky vows to fight for Donbas. Imran Khan to address Pakistan as he faces no confidence vote. The Guardian, sticky wicket for Imran Khan as no confidence debate gets underway. The Telegraph, Pakistani PM faces no confidence vote as defections mount. The Independent, Pakistan PM Imran Khan loses support days before no confidence vote. The Guardian, key ally quits Pakistan PM's cabinet before no confidence vote. Putin targets enemies at home as his missiles strike Ukraine. Tunisian crisis escalates as president dissolves parliament. Ukraine war, Zelensky says Russian invasion at a turning point as attacks intensify around Kyiv and Chernihiv despite Moscow pledge to pull back troops. Sky News, Ukraine braces for fresh wave of attacks in East as Russia builds forces in Donbas. The Guardian, Ukraine troops will fight for every meter of our land, says Volodymyr Zelensky. Evening Standard, Ukraine morning briefing, five developments as Kyiv warns ammunition at Chernobyl could explode. The Telegraph, why is Russia's military regrouping and can Ukraine forces disrupt them? Germany braces for an end to reliance on Russian gas. The Guardian, Germany and Austria take step towards gas rationing. BBC, Russia squeezes Germany over gas. Financial Times, Putin signs order demanding gas payments in rubles from Friday. The Guardian, Kremlin says rubles for gas will take. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.